Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making a procedural lava shader. Let me show you what it looks like and then we'll get into it. So this is the lava shader right here. We're gonna get some nice bump as well as I'm gonna show you how to make these nice consolidated group nodes and these work with EV and cycles. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna just bring in a standard sphere. I'm gonna subdivide it once and make it smooth. And this is what we're going to be using just as, just to show it. Now let's go over to the shading tab and our Blender 2.8 shortcuts here. And let's go over to look dev on shading. I'm gonna to switch to a darker HDRI and cut out the background. So now we have this. Let's click new and let's add a mix shader. Plug that mix shader in. Now we need an emission shader. Bring that here. We're gonna give it a strength of 50 and a nice red color more in the orangey red and plug it into the shader output right here. All right, now we have these two shaders. We need to tell them where to go, place themselves on our object. So we need to add a color ramp and a noise texture. Now we'll plug the color into the factor and the color ramp into the factor here. And so now this, so now the shader, once we take our color ramp and bring it down, you can see the noise affecting the factor and telling them where to put each of these shaders. Let's bring up the detail on this noise texture. So we have one problem. If you wanted to save this shader and apply it to different objects, they'll distribute themselves differently depending on the scale and the topology of your object. And you want to be able to know that it'll distribute evenly on our objects. So we need to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate. So that we know we'll distribute evenly, we'll use the object, we'll use the object plug, plug in the vector, the vector into the vector here, and now, and so now it distributes evenly no matter what object we use. Let's go to the base color and we bring this down here, bring up the roughness a little bit. And now let's add some bump to this. So let's add in a bump node, plug the normal into the normal, and let's get the noise texture and plug it into the height. All right, so now we have this. You can see the topology kind of going on there. I got those dark lava-like rocks, and we can just play with this right here. Now, one thing I like to do is make some space right here, bring up the distortion, and let's take this noise texture, shift D, and just duplicate it. And now we get some even crazier looking displacements here. And of course, you can take this color ramp and kind of animate it if you want, make it more extreme a lot more or less just depending on your scene so we're going to leave it right about here so we're pretty much done now i'm going to show you how to make a really cool group node so you hit b select everything but this red material output right here and you'll click Control g so now you get this material output little node thing and what that's going to be used for say we want to be able to edit the scale bring it up here plug it right into the scale now hit tab so now we have this nice consolidated group node, so it's nice and neat, and you can just go in and see one thing and you don't have to look for your nodes. So if you have like a really, really complex node setup, you can just consolidate it like that. Now we wanna be able to edit the color, so we'll just plug this one into the color, and as well as a new one, plug it into the strength. And so now we have this nice node. We can play with the strength here, and we can play with our color and make some really, really nice things, and it's nice and neat. So there you go, that's a procedural lava shader. I'm gonna be doing a series of procedural shaders, so if you wanna see more of these, subscribe, you get a lot of those, and thanks for watching.